cutting the arm off your baby, which is one of the most uncomfortable things in the world, but sometimes you have to do it. Currently playing my way through the Subject 13 series by Gal Keel. Uh, I was uh, had a lot of fun with the first two. Uh, there's some good custom geo in those in those maps and some fun gameplay. And there's a bit of a story going on where you're the subject of, a, of an experiment and you suddenly have the ability to use weapons and do cool things. And so now we're on to Episode 3, Meltdown, where everything is about to melt. You must make your way to the exit and reach the Argent Labs before it's too late. Hell is the limit. I find that hell is a really good place to stop. Once you've hit hell, you know, you you know, if you're looking for anything other than hell, stop, go back, you've gone too far. Anyway, that map idea is HRD 2 ANWP, currently sitting with 26 plays and 12 upvotes. Two people subscribe to it. Let's take a look at Gal Keel's profile. Gal Keel has racked up one day and 20 hours of play and has accumulated over 94,000 snap map points. He's the author of 26 total maps and currently sitting with an 81% upvote rating after 437 upvotes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next chapter of the Subject 13 series. Let's go have ourselves a little meltdown. Today's episode, Over Meltdown. Beyond acceptable level. Ooh. What, what would you consider acceptable? Emergency protocols, Plan B. They're everywhere. We are trying to cool the reactor, but the system won't allow us with so many demons around. They must be eliminated so we can start cooling the reactor, otherwise all of us will burn alive. End of report. Boy, that's a really weird name to give a child. End of report. Alright, I believe that's where we came from. Alright. Weapon wheel is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up my favorite default combo there. Well, that's creative. I like that. So we're looking all damaged and canarsty here. Alright, so... Off we go into... Uh, oh, hi. Hi, computer guy. You've got a little something on you. I think it's a human corpse. It off. You know, Dr. Peters, huh? Are you Dr. Peters? Well, I guess I need your arm for something. Just gonna clip through this computer to get it. Uh, Dr. Peters' arm acquired. I am now armed. Yeah. Alright, still not working. Uh, same message as before. Okay. You know, just in case I didn't read it the first time, which is, you know, actually not a bad idea. Alright, so stuff on the shelves, another corpse kind of just chilling there, and uh, another report. Okay, what are we listening Welcome. to here? I'm Dr. Samuel oh, Hayden. I'm the audio from the facility. campaign. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to pick the plasma rifle. And then just go right back to what I like. So, there you go. All right. Hey, dude. Hey, uh, you guys, uh, you know there's a reactor meltdown about to happen, and you guys are probably preventing, uh, preventing me from being able to do the thing. So, all right. Hey, cool. Caco Demon. All right. Let's get things started. Uh, maybe that's why I was given... Oh, you know what? I have a rocket launcher. Why don't I just use that? Boop. There we go. Oof. Well, things just got hairy fast, didn't they? All right then. All right. Okay, so next is you, I guess. Oh, come on. Thank you, miss. Yanked by the mank here. Not what I call fun times. Well, I mean, you know, I'm having a little fun because we blow things up and stuff. Alright, can you punch Satan in his? No, I guess I don't. What, what was that one? That was weird. I wonder why it didn't let me glory kill you. Alright, prevent the core meltdown, it says. Alright, so. 
Great. Well, um, you know, I'm a soldier and all that fun stuff. I'm not much of an engineer. You may have to, you know, give me some sort of a... Oh, I see a super health. Could be useful. More health is better than less health. Oh, something else is popping shots at me, but where? Okay, there you are. There, a little more armor. Take back what you stole from me, silly demon. All right. Go here, and uh, is there a... Okay, there's some arcane gobbledygook here on the floor, but that doesn't seem to indicate anything. And uh, we head to here. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, guy. Didn't mean to be rude there. Didn't see ya. I just felt a... Uh... All right. Okay, so probably not doing anything with this computer panel anytime soon. All right, so I can go this way, but not this way. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, well. <laughs> I think my super... Oh, yeah, I'm all out of super shoddy. Yeah. I'm being forced to change my tactics. What is this, some sort of challenging video game or something? And if I want to be challenged, I'd go do math. Alright. Do some math now. One demon dead? That is me without any more shotgun ammo. Okay, we'll just... Alright, so you... I don't even need anything that big to deal with you. Alright, some more rockets. That's good. Alright. Okay, room. Reveal your secrets to me, please. That is not a secret. That is a blow-up guy. All right, here we go. So, all right, red key card. That's good. I haven't run across any red doors yet, so. But I'm sure there will be a red door. And here is a, a core. That is not Corey. Uh, that is the mastered zoom, assu zoom mod assault rifle. I am all about it. A floating robot. What do you have to give me? Uh, oh, an ammo increase. That's awesome. I mean, I can go back to my my, uh, my old standby there. All right, cool. And is anything else in this room I need to be aware of here? Uh, a uh, start cooling. Okay. Power core is missing. So okay, so I, I I grab the one power core. The facility will not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Okay. Systems cannot be overridden. Didn't I just do that though? I could have swore I was that was the foundry. I was just okay. So start the cooling system. But there's a problem, isn't there? Always. Please tell me it's a problem. I can solve the shotguns. In order to start the cooling process, you must first restore the system's power. All right. And uh, how do I do that? Find the missing power cores in order to reactivate the system. Good luck. In order to restore the temperature, then find the missing power cores and fill the green and blue stations. Okay, so I got the blue power core. Uh, yeah, that door is open now. So, and there's the green power core. All right. Hey, mission accomplished, I think. Well, I mean, part one of a several-part mission, I'm sure. So, okay, what do we got in here? I already see a quad damage, so clearly this room uh, does not have good intentions for me. So far, so quiet. And... However, things never seem to stay that way, do they? I have observed that things don't really stay that way. Okay, I'm already full up on armor. I need to just... Okay, so you are a boomer tumor. I am a doom guy. I mean, it seems like a sure thing that we would be attracted. But... No, really, I'm just not that into you. I've seen better boomer tumors than you. You know what? All right. <clears throat> it's Thursday and I'm bored, so let's have fun. Let's misbehave. All 
Oh man, you guys are stealing my kills! I mean, you know, I'm not entirely upset about that. I, you know, anything to save ammo, really, but. I see you. I see you. more careful when I sense when my pinky senses are tingling. Alright, and uh wow, did that Mancubus just kinda go off on his own there? Alright. Well, alright. That was a fun little fun little scrap. Alright, oh this is the, the door that was closed before, so Alright, what do you got? Something good. I hope it's chocolate. Uh, armor increase. That's not chocolate, but hey, you know, I'll take it. Okay, nice little dark room going on here. Probably nothing more than that. Alright, and... Uh, You shine! You shine like a vampire that teen girls like. They sure do like those sparkly vampires. That's what I hear. Alright, we got a blue another blue power core. So I got two blue power cores. Alright, where where is this? This is Okay. Alright, so I guess we move on to the next area. This is uh weirdly similar hallway. It's like a less stressed version of the first hallway from before. And another brightly lit area. I'm probably going to find another... Yep, there's the boomer tumor. It's hit me with that sexy combat. Ugh, actually, I don't know if I want sexy combat from Doom. I, I never wanted it. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, there we go. Little delay. All right, That's enough out of you, Chief. I got something called a hell guard. Oh, gee, many cripes. Okay, my normal tactics don't seem to be chewing too much of his armor off, so I think what I need to do instead is he seems to have a team of buddies that are helping him out here, so I gotta take care of them first. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, ouchies. Was not paying attention to what I was doing, apparently. Okay, so, oh, so at least we respawned in the room. Permadeath is not an issue. I don't know if there's a live system or some other consequence for death I am not aware of. But uh, I'm gonna try and die less if I can help it, uh, which is gonna be a problem if I. Oh, jeez. All right. Pile of corpses, a little catchy. Let's just put the kibosh on that. There we go. Get rid of this little 
friends there. I'm gonna do this. You better do this on your own, buddy. Got him, got him, get him, get him, get him. All right, there we go. All right, can we please just... Okay. All right, so back over to the catchy gore pile. Yeah, uh, I am not a fan of this gore pile here being uh, solid. That uh, It is what it is. Okay, all right, I see some... I see some, uh, some sort of a core puzzle going on here. Not really a puzzle, it's just insert core A into slot B, I think. One and that's two. All right, and that opens a door. All right, cooling system power at fifty percent. Good. All right, so I I like that there was a uh, a landmark on that door, so I can kind of tell just from the visual cues which door I'm supposed to be going to. Especially because this is a one of the more visually confusing. Uh, modules. So let's go ahead and look for the door that has the little arrowy logo thingy on it. There it is over there. Hey. Off I go. Alright. What's going on in here? Okay, these must be where I put the blue power cores. All right, cooling is at 100%. Great, so cooling systems ready. But there's still one more gore nest to destroy. Doggone it. Should probably also have to kill some demons. That's... The thing about the Doom universe is killing demons is always an answer. It's always a solution to something. All right, okay, so, oh, that must... Well, I don't know what that was, but... Okay, so... Destroy the gore nest, and all I did was well. Hey, uh, again, let's not let's not mistake my 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 observations for complaining. I am certainly not complaining, but yeah. The, all right, there it is over there. This is that thing that wasn't open before. All right, uh, weird. Uh, all right. Present time? Cool. What did Daddy get me for Christmas? A health increase. All right. And uh, start cooling. Core temperature beyond acceptable level. Yeah, we established that. That's why you're supposed to start the cooling. Demonic Make Christmas things cool. Headlines. All right. Hit me with that lockdown. Let's. Okay. There we go. Okay, music starting. Now we get... Okay, there we go. Ah! Oh boy. Not want to be there at that exact moment, apparently. Oh boy. Don't want to be here either! Ooh, alright. Man, I'm... A tough spot to find a space here. Better, better. Okay. Around over here. We got some delicious spam here going on. Oh, I got him. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Oh. Oof. Alright. Create some distance, create some distance. Alright. Oh, man, I 
stop wasting the super shoddy on them little peanuts. Right, let's take a trip back over here and assess our... There we are. Okay, here we go. A little more health so I can survive that crossfire, man. I swear there's another one of you laser dorks around here somewhere. Alright. There we go. Better, better. Alright. You can't be the only one. There we go. There's the laser dork from before. Oh, there we go. Alright, and finally that lighting is done with. Okay, cool. Alright, so that was where I turned on the cooling. Uh, this is, I swear, another side door. No, this is where I came in. Heretic, you won this battle, but I won't let you stop my mission. Oh, okay, so you finally got something to say, Olivia. Finally. Okay. I'll make sure my children feed on your flesh in time your soul will be mine. No. Is this where I... Okay. say all of these things, but I'm sure you even mean them in sort of a way, but okay, what's going on up here? Oh, okay. Alright, so besides the armor, what else is in this area here? I, uh... Oh, do not shoot. Um, what happens if I shoot it? Okay. a weird room with a blinky light and, um, the, the, the weird empty room that doesn't seem to have anything in it unless... Oh, there it is! Oh, okay, so it's all kind of shrouded in darkness. It's like the... Uh, more of you, huh? Okay, well, fair enough. So we didn't come here to play pachinko. gonna complain about shooting demons in doom. It's, uh, you know. <laughs> Behind me? Oh, that was weird. There we go. Okay. Well. Oh, and a berserk. Okay, so... Is uh, there more dudes I gotta worry about here, or...? Well, I'm going to save the Berserk for just in case there's more dudes. I'm not seeing. I do see this area here. Okay! Uh, Samuel Hayden. You have Peter's arm. It's good. Head back to Sector 1. Yeah, I, without understanding why, picked up a human body part. That's kind of what I do. It is digital. You can now access the Sector 4, and from there the Argent Labs. What's up, dude? Uh, what are you looking at? As I expected, Olivia is the cause of all this. No time to waste. Head to Sector 4. Hey, clearly marked exit. How about that? Alright, so this is where we... Alright, we are entering Sector 1. So yeah, uh, I had fun with this episode. It has some fun combat going on in it, and I like that the, you know, the one of the things in particular that I was really hot on was using lighting cues to kind of indicate where the power cores go and things like that. That was a that was a real help. 
Uh, so I really do appreciate that. Um, and, you know, good combat. Everything was very well balanced. Um, there was that one boss in there that would that killed me like three times. And, you know, honestly, I, I, I can't speak for a more experienced player. I'm pretty sure that any somebody with more skill than I have could probably have died less or not at all on that particular combat. That is a an already like that, that sort of gets me to one of my my criticisms though, which is that um, that particular uh, module, that particular set piece that you set that one boss battle in, is already pretty snaggy. Uh, and so to sort of add to that snagginess by putting down gore piles that. Uh, that can't be stepped through and are really clumsy to walk on and just end up kind of sticking up the player, you know, is, you know, it's, it's a barrier, you know, it's, it's kind of a barrier to enjoyment, I think. And I would advise maybe like, if you're going to have like just sort of random props out like that um, to, you know, to the very least, like set them to set, set them so that they can be walked through uh, or something. Um, Cause I really feel like the, the gore piles were, were sort of an unfair little addition there i mean i if i had stopped and thought about it and stuff you know maybe i could have like sort of negotiated around it but to just spawn right next to one and it's kind of you know it's it's kind of sticking you it's a little yeah a little weird um then there were also some like tiny things with lighting like one of the doors which was like necessary to progression was sort of bathed in darkness kind of easy to miss I, I, I think it was my third or fourth trip to that room before i finally noticed there was a door there and again we can just chalk this up to the fact that I'm kind of an idiot and I'm a little oblivious, but, you know, uh, at the same time, just, you know, something I have to point out. It's like, oh, you know, this was a, a door and uh, the the darkness on it kind of prevented me from, from seeing it. And I'm, I'm starting to wonder because, uh, you know, one of the things I constantly bring up is sort of the lighting situation. When people use the darker settings, you know, I'm wondering if it's just because I'm playing on an Xbox One that it just seems especially dark for me or if it's just my, my brightness settings, which to be fair, I actually crank my brightness settings just slightly above where they want them, specifically because of situations like that. And I still find that the game has this tendency, especially in snap maps, to create these pools of darkness where little to nothing can be seen on a casual glance and so if you've got something that it's one thing if you're hiding a secret you know if you're hiding secrets obviously you know use any advantage you can to sort of make those secrets as hidey hide as you possibly can um but if you know it's if it's a door that's necessary to progression consider at the very least just making sure that it's as visible as it can possibly be you know just to make sure that the normal you know bog standard flow of your map doesn't get interrupted by a bunch of hunting around so all in all though i mean there's very few things i can sort of nitpick at and go no i didn't like that you know honestly i liked everything about this map you know i you know oh and that other thing with the uh it's often it, it just just uh, I, maybe it's just a me thing, but it seems a little weird that Doom Guy would stop to just rip a random dude's arm off without any sort of prompting. Uh, so I feel like maybe front loading somewhere in there. Oh, we need this dude's arm to do the thing. Um, I mean, obviously that's a personal thing, and I, I, it's just something I find really silly that like Doom Guy will just stop what he's doing to collect a, a human body part just to carry that around. It's like he's carrying a ton of guns and a bunch of ammo. He's wearing heavy armor. I mean, like, why is he going to add an extra, you know, ten pounds to his to his carrying around. But again, I'm just being silly here. That'd be like me complaining that, oh, I'm carrying 10,000 gold in Skyrim. How am I able to walk? You know, it's because yay, video games. But uh, just a silly little thing I noticed. It's all. Uh, Subject 13, Episode 3, Meltdown by Gal Keel. That's map ID HRD2ANWP. And I had fun. I had fun. And that's all that matters. Check it out for yourselves. Game on, game on, game on, game on, game on.